everyone. Every day when I look at the messages of all the work that comes through, I smile looking at it. It's so creative and personal and it's been fabulous. So I thought for this last video, before we have a couple of weeks off for the Easter holiday, I'd love to share loads of your different tasks. So it'll be a bit of a recap of all the different things that we've done. I hope you really enjoy it. Thank you for everyone that's contributed so far. Let's get going. Okay, so we're going to start today with what I've called a number talk, which is where we have a calculation and we think about all the different ways it can be done. It's great having different ways to calculate because sometimes questions it's easier to calculate in one answer rather than another, and also because then you can just be much more creative. So I remember giving this one to my class once, 45 subtract 18. I remember one child said, well, what I would do is 45, then I would subtract the 10, and that gives me 35, and then uh, I've got to subtract another 8. So I start off by taking away a 5 and that will give me to 30 and then I'll take away another 3 and that gets me to 27. So quite a lot of steps there to track in your mind but that was one way. Uh, another child said no well I did something different I did 45 and then I just subtracted 20 I took away too many in fact I took away two too many so uh, that got me to 25 and it, when I had those two back on that gets me to 27 as well. Um, but one uh, alternative strategy is if we just really understand, and this is what one child was saying, that, well, there's 45 and here's 18. Um, and what we're, what we're looking for, if I take away a part of 18, we're just looking for the difference. So actually, I do this, the calculation is actually an addition. 18 add 2 is 20. And then 20 to 45, well, 25. It's kind of easier to do that as an addition, I think. So equals 27. I will never forget the one lad who said who said this. He said, um, well, 45, I noticed 45, I have got five lots of nine. And then I'm taking away 18, and 18 is two lots of nine. And so the difference between five lots of nine and two lots of nine, well, that is three lots of nine, which is uh, 27 as well, which I just thought was brilliant. So what I want you to do is uh, you're going to have a go um, and we're going to try with 42 subtract 28. Pause the video there and think how many different ways can you calculate the answer to 42 subtract 28? Have a go. Okay, well, let's have a look at some of the things that, that you could have done. Um, so again, this one I find quite difficult, but if we're kind of doing it by by subtracting the different parts, I could take away a part of 20, and that leaves me with 22. And then to subtract eight, I do that in two jumps. So I subtract the two um, to get me to 20, and then I subtract the six, which gets me to 14. Um, now, another method that you could again look at is 42, and don't take away 28, but instead take away 30, um, which is two too many. So that gets you to 12. And then you just need to add on that two, which was the amount extra that you subtracted, gets you to 14. Uh, a method that I didn't mention before, but we have looked at in the previous videos, is subtracting the same amount from both numbers. So I could make the 42 into a 39. I've just subtracted three. So I'm going to subtract 25 instead of 28. That will give me the same answer as 42 subtract 28, um, which will be 14. Um, as well, I could just think of, of the difference between 42 and 28. So 42 and 28. And when I'm looking for that difference, I generally do that by, uh, by adding. So I'll just, just think, well, add the 2, that gets me to 30. And then add the 12, so that gets me to 14. And again, I have this wonderful strategy of multiplication. Um, so you might have had to look for 42 and 28 and think, well, which, which times table could I use? Um, well, they're both in the 7. So here we've got 6 lots of 7. And here we have 4 lots of 7. So the difference between um, 6 lots of 7 and 4 lots of 7, of course, is 2 lots of 7. And it is, of course, 14. Lots of different strategies, lots of chance for creativity too. You've done so well over the last few days, understanding these different types of puzzles, see how, how lots of different maths questions are connected, and today we're going to really enjoy some of the questions that have been sent in. Um, so today's title is Strawberries and Spotty Ties. You're going to see why soon. Um, let's have a look at some of those examples that have been sent through. 
Um, here is one. I, I've typed out the information um, just so it's a little bit clearer for you to see. Um, but the question that has been created is this. A plum and a strawberry costs 50p. A plum and three strawberries costs 80p. How much does a plum cost? Now, here's your task. What I want you to do is see if you can spot the mistake. So I'm going to show how this could well be done incorrectly. See if you can find where the mistake is. Um, so we could say, well, a plum and a strawberry. So P stands for plum and S stands for stra strawberry. A plum plus a strawberry is 50p. A plum plus three strawberries e equals 80p. So that means, let's look at the difference between 50p and 80p. That's 30. So that means a strawberry costs 30p. And if a strawberry is 30p, then a plum must be 20p. OK. Pause the video. Where was the mistake? Let's have a look and, and see if we can find it. So, well, let's say here, actually, the strawberry must be 15p. Because it is correct that the difference between 50p and 80p is 30p. But of course, that's for two extra strawberries. So each one must be 15p. Um, so what does that mean for the cost of a plum? Well, something plus 15 equals 50. And that makes the plum worth 35p. Thank you for that question and for, uh, for sending it through. Um, now, you know me. I like a good question. I like it when children come up with different inventive ways. And imagine the size of the smile on my face when I saw this. Gareth's Handy Store, our next task. Um, so here goes. We're going to have a go at this, this question. I, I wonder um, if you can find the cost of that spotty tie at the bottom. Um, Harry went to the shop. Whilst he was there, he was wondering. A spotty tie and a lightning t-shirt were £30. And two lightning t-shirts, £50. But how much would one lightning t-shirt be? And also, how much is the spotty tie? Hmm. Pause the video and see if you can work it out. And by the way, I love the graphics. Well done. So let's have a look. Um, I've made the image slightly smaller so I can put my pictures here. So the information that we were given was the lightning shirt and the spotty tie, £30. Two lightning t-shirts, £50. Well, what can I work out first? A lightning t-shirt, £25. That spotty tie, it must be £5. And so to your questions. Wherever you're viewing this video from, so this is home learning, home learning year three and four, but wherever it is, underneath the video, you'll find the link. Um, and that brings you to today's task. Um, and of course, these are absolutely all yours, my friends. So here we've got this, sh this shape puzzle here. See if you can work out these, these values. And another uh, shape puzzle, Easter themed ones, which I thought were nice. And then we've got some word questions on the next page as well. Have a go at those ones. Um, the answers are right at the bottom. Good luck. Enjoy. Choose a range of those challenges to have a go at. Now, I want to do everything I can to help parents and children at home during this time. So parents, this is for you. Um, first of all, if you go to this tab, training, there'll be another piece of information which will drop down here um, in the next few days, which will be about online training. And part of that will be some of the courses that I'm running, particularly for parents, to help them to support the children in, in maths. So keep an eye on that. That, that information will, will appear really soon. Um, I'll write a blog about some of the things that I'll cover as well. Um, so my blog is garethmetcalf.wordpress.com. There'll be a new article there. I've been a bit busy doing all these lessons at the moment, but when I get round to it, there'll be an article that will explain everything I'll do for parents, um, to support parents at this time. And then if you want to go onto the mailing list for parents with information just for parents um, and have little games and things you can play with children, if you go to icmass.com all home lessons, there's a tab right at the bottom, if you haven't already, um, which says IC Maths um, information for parents mailing list. If you click on there and sign up, you'll get um, some emails every so often with some ideas and things that, that you can do at home. I hope you'll find that really, really useful. So this brings us to the end of our 10th video. Um, it's just been amazing 
seeing all your responses, um, all the work that you've sent in uh, over the last 10 days. It's been absolutely amazing. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone that's, that's done that. We're going to have a break over the Easter holidays. Um, but I'm going to send out each week, there's going to be two videos that are going to be sent out of little games and fun little challenges that you can play at home. So look out for them. You'll, you'll really enjoy them. Um, when we're back, I want to share this project with as many children as possible. So as many people can join in and have the amazing experiences that you've done. So please just tell anyone else that you know that might get involved uh, about the project. That would be wonderful. If you give a thumbs up to any of your favourite videos, that really helps to share and to spread the message as well. That would be great. Um, I'm going to be back sharing a video a day from the 20th of April. So, so um, have a look out for that and I'll be back then. Catch up obviously on any, any videos that you've missed. And so long as the schools in the UK are closed, I'm going to be here posting a new video uh, for Lower Key Stage 2 and Upper Key Stage 2 every day. That is my commitment to you. I'm really looking forward to it. Have a great couple of weeks and I will see you on the 20th.